Hello everyone, welcome to Tigers. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your bathroom floor with minimal effort and with maximum results. So you can see that I've, I've, I'm showing you two different products that I'm going to use today. So this is generally the one which we use for any floor cleaning that we do at home. But again, it has not given us that much of results that this particular thing has given so far. So this is nothing but your normal acid uh, that you will get in any hardware store. Uh, it will cost you about one liter, would cost you about some 50 bucks. And uh, the maximum that you need for cleaning would be about two liters. So the two liters, which is costing you about 100 rupees, will give you great cleaning of your bathroom floors. Now you can see that there are a lot of dirts in the bathroom. Now I will show you in terms of how you can get the, get rid of this with this particular liquid that I have shown you. Yeah. Look at that. Look at how dirty the floor is. So let's begin. Also you can see that behind the tap there's a lot of junk which is there and cleaning with soap is very difficult. So all you need to do is use this particular liquid to clean this now what i've done is i've shifted this into a bottle another bottle with a hole on top of it all you need to do is basically just pour it on top of this and then you can see the results you know you can see it's very clean by itself look at the dirt that it's coming out from this particular so once we apply this, just leave it for some time for it to you know clean it by itself and then probably you can just crop it a little bit and then you know time. So like I said, it will clean by itself. You don't have to do anything. All you need to do is the moment you apply it, you will have to you will have to make sure that it stays there for about a minute or so like i said guy after a minute or two what you can see is you can see that now the surface is completely clean with the acid that i pour on top of it so you can see the things which is coming out on its own now all you need to do is basically pour some water on top of it so that gets clean by itself so let's clean it yeah. you can see the difference you can see the dirt that's coming out yeah look at so, so that's how it's been yeah. so you can see the difference now there's a quite a lot of difference in terms of the dirt that was sticked into this tab but now it's clean so what also you might want to do is take a scrubber and then probably rub it on top of it so that this things goes up so in case if you use a hand also it goes up see look at that look at this yeah yeah so all you need to do is rub it with your hand and then get the dirt out of this yeah you don't even have to use any material to clean this after you pour that thing in this particular yeah so let's take a little bit of water and then pour on top of it and see if the results are great okay so likewise you can do it with other areas wherever it's dirty and then probably use the cleaning tips which are given all right so all you need to do is basically pour the acid in the bucket and then add some water to it so this is you pour the acid in the bucket so guys whenever you're doing this 
process make sure that you maintain uh, you take your own precautions because as it is not safe and especially when you have kids at home ensure that they're not nearby or they walk into the bathroom the moment you pour this so what you can do is with one and a half liter of acid you just need to mix up not one bucket basically one bucket of water and then mix it so the moment you mix it what you can do is you can start pouring this into the floor let's begin the process we have a acid and water mixed all you need to do is pour it now see look at that the moment you pour it, it starts cleaning by itself. So whenever you have those stains, ensure that you have put enough of this liquid into that area. And after you pour this liquid, which you have mixed with water, ensure that you scrub that area with a brush little bit yeah look at that look at that so guys this is very dangerous like I said always use a mask or a gloves whenever you do this activity okay look at that look at that so ensure that you are done Bathroom is floor. Under this, that's it. Okay. Yeah. And then the moment you pour this, make sure to leave it for about two to three minutes for the dirt to come off on its own. Yeah. So let's walk outside. Okay, so what you do is you for the remaining part you can use it. The moment you pour it, the acid will do its job, guys. But again, remember, like I said, you will have to leave it for some time for the floor to be cleaned by itself. Yeah, okay, I think we are almost done. All right, now what we do is we leave the floor for some time and then let it clean by itself. Like I said earlier, scrub it post three to four minutes of this being poured on the floor. So after 5 minutes this is how it looks guys, so I've left the floor for 5 minutes after you, you know, pour the acid on top of the floor, on the floor basically and this is how it looks like. All you need to do now is basically take a normal brush and then start wiping the floors so you can see, you can see the difference in the corners. So we'll have to ensure that all the corners are brushed properly and this is how the dirt will go slowly. Yeah. So we'll have to ensure that all the corners are being brushed properly. So if you look at this floor, it's quite dirty. At the moment you scrub it, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Yes. Look at the difference.
Like I said earlier guys, take utmost precaution while you are doing this, while you are brushing the floor, cover your face with a mask and then brush it slowly so that it, it doesn't sprinkle on your face or in your body parts. So after you finish applying brush on top of the floor or on the floor, all you need to do is take some water and then start pouring on top of it. Can you see the difference of the floor now? Yeah. This is the dirt that I'm talking about guys. Yeah. This is the dirt that I'm talking about. Look at the floor now. How clean it is. Look at this. Look at the dirt that it has come out from the so similarly keep doing this. So all this process when you call some expert will cost you about thousand, thousand two hundred or maybe 1500 to 2000 rupees depending on the area or the location that you're staying right but in case if you're willing to go ahead and clean your bathroom on your own i think this is what will cost you about 100 rupees maybe even less than that and this guys remember you can do it maybe once a quarter once in three months and whenever you're cleaning clean with your regular Without how many liquids that you have in the market, or else for deep cleaning, you can always use acid, like I've shown in the video. So, I'll do a little bit of brushing and then finish the cleaning of this particular bathroom, and then I'll show you the final results. So, guys, you can see the result with your own eyes, and then look at the amount of dirt which has been cleaned from this particular floor uh, like I have advised uh, you not to use this process daily uh, but it could be used once in three months yeah so let me show you the wash basin yes this is how it looks now uh, you know the amount of dirt which was sticked on the white cement and in the corner of the tank so this is how it looks now yeah i hope you guys can see the difference if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel okay thank you so much for watching take care bye bye